Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rokha Kadash, Dubliners, and to your apostles and elders of GMS, in which I learned this truth. Shalom to the Akim, pushing this truth and faith in sincerity. So basically, um, I saw a picture going around, right, and it says it said um Jonathan Kent, which is Superman's son, right, um comes out as B I in a new DC comic. And um, immediately I thought, really, like, they're trying to target the children, man. They're trying to target our children, man. You know, it's, I know all of these wickedness that they're pushing is mainly for Jake. Because they're trying to keep us cut off from being a nation. I'm going to get that in a second, right? They, they, they don't want us to, 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 to follow the laws. They don't want us to do what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai commanded us to do. They want us to stay far away from that. Because... The more far away we stay from the word of the Lord, is the closer we are to them. Because it's either them or Yahweh Bashim al Shai, right? Because they are against Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Because they're pushing pure wickedness. And they want to keep our people away from Yahweh Bashim al Shai by our people doing all of these wickedness that they're pushing. And they're trying to target the children, man. That's what they're trying to do. You know? See, on TV, in cartoons, and now in comic books. Like. This is a Proverbs 22 verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it, man. You know, so we should train up our children the right way. Train up our children. As long as our children, you know, they're at the age that they can understand, right? And they can comprehend, right? And they know what's right from wrong. Train your child, man, with these scriptures, man. Let them know what's right from wrong using the scriptures, man. So when they go out there in the world and they're getting taught all of these things, Right, then they know that, oh yeah, 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 daddy did say that according to the scriptures, according to to the most high, that this and this is wrong and whatever, whatever. So when even when people trying to tell them anything, they know within themselves what's right and what's wrong, you know? Because the world we're living in, man, is pure wickedness being pushed, man. And that's how we know that the earth is being ruled in wickedness. So that even these... <coughs> Amalek that's over there, man, claiming that they're the chosen ones, man. If they are actually the chosen ones living in the land right now, why is there pure wickedness being pushed on the earth? Why are they still pushing this wickedness? Because when the children of Israel are established, when they get brought back into the land, right, of Israel, right, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashim and Oshai, there ain't going to be no wickedness being pushed on the earth, you know? That's how we know that they ain't, they, they're some fakes, man, you know? We're living in the last days right now. You know, abomination, abominations are being pushed so hard because they Esau knows he has but a short time, man. His time is coming to an end. That's why they try, he's trying to do as much as he can to keep to keep his position of rulership on the earth. You know, let me get that. Um, uh, Revelation, I don't remember. Is it 12? Revelation 12? Um, having great wrath. Spell it wrong. Yeah, if you spell one thing wrong, it won't come up. Yeah, this is Revelation 12, verse 12. Um, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and he that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, Esau, having great wrath, because you know what he hath but a short time. Right? So Esau knows he has but a short time. So Esau is Esau's going to just keep pushing pure wickedness, keep pushing pure abominations, until they come out with their new world order, come out with their juke or the you me me I mean the mo thing being the karagma, trying to get our people to give up themselves as slaves, man. That's that's basically when it was gonna get down to Jacob's trouble, when the military comes in and all of these things is gonna happen, man. You know, we're in the last days, man, and he's all noisy about short time. That's why you keep pushing all of these wickedness, man. Come on, man. Putting that in the comic books for our children. They're trying to target our children, man. From young, man. But all of their plans ain't going to come to pass, man. You know? Um, let me get this one. Lion with mankind. 
Leviticus 20 verse 13, if a man lie, if a man also lie with mankind as he lied with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. Right? So this we, we should be tre- teaching our children these things. Because they they they're teaching our children using their their cartoons, right? Television, in schools, in now in comic books. So every medium that children the children are exposed to, they're pushing all of this abomination to it, man. You know? So we have to teach our children, man, this. Right? If a man also lie with mankind and is lie with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. So this is punishable by death, man. And all, all you Jake that's out here, right, conforming to this wickedness, man. Hey, when Yahweh Shai comes back, you're going to get destroyed with missiles, man. You have, you're going to have a missile aimed right at you, man. We're aimed for you, man. Punishable by death, man. Just because you're doing it and I say, I'm doing it now and I'm not dead. <laughs> you're not dead yet. Don't worry. When when your time comes, you're going to feel it. Right? You and these, these, these other nations are going to feel it, man. You know, the elect will, will, will see all these things happen. Will witness all of these things happening. Hopefully, I'm part of the elect. You know, hopefully. Because this earth is being run by the wicked, man. That's why all of these wickedness are being pushed. And that is why Yahweh Shai has to come back because... Come on, man! It's it's getting it's getting too much now. Like it's getting too much, you know. Yahweh is going to send his son Yahweh Ty- Yahweh Shai Salakia. Yahweh is going to send Yahweh Shai just the right time, cause the in- we're we're in the last days, man. The wickedness that being pushed, man. You know, um, the earth is given. hands of the wicked uh, yeah man the earth is given into the hands of the wicked 100% because that if if the earth, if the earth was ruling in righteousness why is there so much so much wickedness like literally this is another modern, modern um, this is another um ancient babylon this is an, another Sodom and Gomorrah but it's a modern day one man modern day babylon starting with america because that's where all of their wickedness comes from man They're being pushed that is the center of the um, rulership, man. Job 9 verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. That's right. And the wicked is Esau. And Esau is the one ruling the earth. Esau the so-called white man. Esau the caveman. You know? And and, and, and the wickedness that, that they, they're pushing, man, you know, is completely like... Oh, man. Our people needs to repent, man, because the time that the times that that's ahead, man, Esau that's ruling the earth, they're gonna get completely destroyed and they're gonna be put into captivity, man. You know? Come on, man. They're gonna get put into captivity. Let me get that as well. Um This is a uh, Isaiah fourteen verse one. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. So the Lord will have mercy on on, 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 on the elect of Israel, man, and set them in their own land. And the strangers, which are the other Israelites that didn't repent, right, they shall be brought back into the kingdom, right? They shall be brought back into the kingdom. But hey, the elect are going to be celebrities in the kingdom, man. Everyone shall be talking about us. Everyone shall be reading about, about the elect. Hopefully, if I'm part of the elect, you know, I will, I will also be a part of that, hopefully, right? And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. Right? So these are the wicked Israelites. No, Salakia. Salakia. I got it wrong. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. These are the heathen nations. Right? The wicked Israelites are the strangers that that shall be joined with them. Those are the wicked Israelites. I need to make that clear. Right? And shall cleave to the house of Jacob, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. These are the heathen nations, so the so you know the the heathen nations shall be bring, brought to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess the heathens. Yeah, the, and Esau, these other nations, especially Esau, the Lord shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. So Esau, right, you heathen, shall be. Um, our possession in the kingdom, man, for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives whose captives they were. Right? So, because we were um, 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 captivity, we were, we are now, even now, we are in captivity, you know, in Esau rulership, 
Now, when we're ruling the earth, they're going to be our slaves, man. You know, and that's justice. And they shall rule over their oppressors. We are being oppressed by Esau now, the so-called white man. So, in the kingdom, we shall rule over them. Right? So, all this wickedness that they're pushing, man, is going to come to an end. Right? Because they, all of these things they're doing... They're trying to keep they're trying to keep us away from Yahweh Shina Oshai. All these wickedness that are being pushed, targeting Jake, is to keep us away from Yahweh Shina Oshai. Right? But obviously that's gonna come to an end. Because the Lord has the Yahweh Shina Oshai has set up the men of the Lord to, 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 to wake up the elect. Right? And these men of the Lord are gonna be the start of the kingdom, man, of heaven, the elect. But they're trying to keep us cut off. You know? Um, is it Job 1? I think it's Job 1 verse 24. <coughs> I think. No. Is it Job 1? No, I don't remember which one it is. Um, uh, crafty. So, or oh, oh, it's Proverbs eighty three. So okay, now uh, this is Proverbs eighty three. Start from verse three, and they have th they have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and have consulted thy hidden ones, and they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. So this is what these heathens have done, right? And them pushing this wickedness, targeting Jake, is is also trying to keep that keep that um thing that they've come together to do. That the name of the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That's right. So all these other nations, all these heathens came together to come up against Israel, man, to cut us off from being a nation. Why? Through through us going off. By the end of the day, Yahweh Bash and Shai ordained ordained that to happen, man. You know? So all these things that they're pushing is to keep us away from the truth. Keep us away from Yahweh Bash and Shai. You know? But the Lord already have his elect, you know, that um that basically that, you know, <clears throat> gonna, the Lord is gonna give them their mark of exemption. So in that time when the MO thing being pushed is being pushed, right? And 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 and, and you know, Yahweh comes back and people are gonna be destroyed, you know, like the mark of exemption shall shall be what you know, shall be the difference between you know, the elect and, you know, our wicked Israelites, you know, because um, at the end of the day, man, like, when I saw, when I saw the picture of Superman's son be coming out as that, as B.I., like, I was so upset, like, I was thinking, like, really, like, I understand um, what's going on, obviously, through the spirit and power of your heart, but, you know, Shai, but you just, I just, I just feel tired and fed up at this place. This wicked place. I just feel sometimes I just feel like I just want to cry. Like just, I understand that you know it, um, we have to wait on the Lord because the Lord's timing is the best. But sometimes you just think and just think, oh, this place is like, oh my gosh, like, oh gosh. Um, let me uh, let me get this as well. So I cry for the abominations. This is Ezekiel 9 verse 4. Ezekiel 9 verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. Right? And this is basically the people. Go through um, the midst of um, the people. When it says um, Jerusalem, right? They're talking about the people because the people is what make the place, man. Um, they, they have the people before the place. Right, the people was established before the place. So when he said go through the midst of Jerusalem, he's talking about going f go through the Israelites, man, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men which are the elect that shy and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And only the men in the truth, right, are sighing and crying for the abominations thereof. Like we are actually upset and angry, you know, we're tired. Like we're f we're just fed up of the wickedness that they being put that's being pushed, man. We're tired of it. We're sick and tired of it now. We go up to the point. We're just tired of this place. We're tired of this wicked kingdom, man. 
And then, you know, people in the world, they don't care. They don't give a toss. They're just enjoying themselves. Like, I can't enjoy myself here. I can't, I can't enjoy myself in this wicked place. Not fully, anyway. You know? Like, it's completely done. Like, this place is completely done. I can't wait for Yahweh Shai to come. Obviously, we have to have patience. But sometimes, I just think to myself, like, this place, like... You know? So, where is sighing and crying for the abominations thereof? He said, go through the midst of Jerusalem. Set a mark upon their heads, the foreheads. These are the mark of exemption. Right? Um, this, is the, this is the mark of exemption, man. You know? Because we're, we're sick and tired. You know? And to the others, he said, in mine hearing, go after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. That's right, man. So, basically... If you ain't got, if if you're not part of the elect and do not receive this mark, then destruction is gonna come for you, man. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man who, upon whom is the mark. And begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. So basically, man, that's it, man. You know, if you're not in this truth, if you're not a part of the elect. And you're in the world going after these wicked wickedness that Esau's been pushing, then you're gonna be destroyed, man. And the elect are gonna be delivered. Hopefully, I'm part of the elect. Hopefully, I don't know if I am, but I pray and hope that I am. Sometimes I think and I sit and I think to myself, Am I doing enough? Am I doing enough work? Am I showing my faith enough? Am I doing what I'm supposed to do? You know, am, am I being diligent? You know, sometimes I think I think that to myself, like, Am I doing enough to make myself? You know, am I being diligent? Like, am I? Seriously? Because the scripture says, um, um, give diligence to make your calling an election sure. We don't know if we're part of the elect, but we have to do the best we can to make our election sure. In the second Peter two verse thirty two, if I'm not mistaken. No, um and second Peter I think is free. No. Oh, where was it again? How can I not remember this one? Alright. Let me have it in. Give dili diligence. An election. Oh, Second Peter 1 verse 10. I know it's in Second Peter. Anyway, um, Second Peter 1 verse 10. Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. So, you know, us brothers, man, the men, in, the men in the truth, you know, give diligence, man, to make your calling and election sure. So obviously, sometimes I sit there and I think to myself, I hope I'm part of the elect. But to make my election sure, I need to give diligence in the work. Show my faith, you know. Give diligently do the work of Yahweh Bashi Shai to make my election sure. Cause I don't know if I about to do the best that I can to make that election sure, man. And that's why sometimes I sit here and I think to myself, Am I doing enough? Am I being diligent? Am I? I need. I do. I need to do more. Obviously, I'm new in the truth. I'm still learning, but we're in the last days, man. This is not the time to be, you know, fooling around. Or this. This is the time to be serious, man. Cause even for me now. It's going to be like maybe one year, one year since, you know, I've like t started learning the truth properly and coming to the truth. It's got, soon it's going to be one year. And, um, like, I'm telling you, man, re recently, like, maybe these past few months, I've been having a lot of, like, spirits and plague in my mind and, and like, other, like, peep spirits from people coming to me, trying to get me to go off, trying to get me to do things that are not of, the, not of the Lord, man. And that's how we know we're in a serious time, man. It's the time we're in right now is serious, man. You know, so we just have to keep doing the work of Yahweh Bashim El Shai until Yahweh Bashim El Shai don't want us to do it anymore. Until Esau starts doing all of, the, all of his all of his um, plans, man. The new world order, the MO thing, being the Karagma, all these things, Jacob's trouble, you know. So in that time, man, we shall be taken care of if we're part of the elect, you know. So for all the wickedness that Esau's been pushing, 
you need to stay strong, man, because you know Esau ain't gonna have for Esau ain't gonna have rulership forever, man. It's gonna come to an end soon, very very soon. Prophecies are around the corner, man. So with that, I'm gonna say all praises to Yahweh, Ba Shemi Until next time, I'm going to 